So, split this six months ago. That's the advancing front. Zoom in. That's where all of the open pots are. And the queen might be far away. I haven't seen her in there yet, but she'll be there somewhere. It's the top of the Inverlucum, which is this paddle stuff here. So, so down the front there we've got honey pots. And these are pollen pots on the side here. Oh no, they're honey pots too. You can see just in here, there's honey in there. I'll pull that back a little bit. Whoops, there it goes, there's honey. Hmm, tastes pretty good too. The girls will fix that up. So, yeah, so you can see the cell size difference. So obviously they're the the cells for the babies to go in, the pupae, and the little eggs, which I'll put their food in. As close as I can zoom in there. That's the little pots with all the babies. Why they're called sugar bag bees because of the they make pots, not hexagonal cells like honey bees. So obviously that's a bit of honey I spilt earlier. Oop, got another bee crawling up my arm here. I'll get her off. There's another pot there they haven't quite closed up. They're filling up with pot honey or nectar. There's all their structure, all the bits of wiry stuff because they're a resin bee. So these are the Hocking's Eye. And my Carbonaria are not doing much in theirs and my Australis are just filling theirs up with stores. They're not doing anything in the uh, eductions that I'm doing. But I just thought I'd have a look in here and see how they're going. So obviously this whole space of this top part of the box I haven't used because I split this from that one. That's the original top with a new bottom. And this is a new top on the old bottom. And this is actually the honey super, but obviously the, I'm gonna wait a long time before I get honey in there, because there's nothing in there at the moment. So yeah, so all you do is you have this slot here at the back. This is on the back of the hive, because if you put the slot at the front, um, you'll end up with them putting a lot of pollen in the front, um, whereas they put all their honey towards the back here. I think I have explained that before, but you know, for those who haven't seen my videos. And these wooden bars I've put across here, they're what we call split bars. That's so when we actually break this top section of the box off, we have a split and we have two hives and we make two hives from the one by putting some brood in the top and some in the bottom. But this is obviously one that was split six months ago. So it'll be a while yet before they fill that up. I'll just pick this box up. Hopefully these girls won't get in the way. Put that back onto there. Meet up the two surfaces. Put it back together. Cool. I'll put my little mini clamp back on. Whoops. Sorry for my filming, but hey. As you guys know, I don't do real well with my filming. So, it's just a clamp like on a beehive. I'll just pause this for a sec. Okay, so yeah, clamp's back on. You can get it real straight. I might fix that up before I finish. So obviously these girls and this one are doing real well too. So that's the other half. And of course that was the one that got um, attacked and it's over on the other side there. So obviously the girls are going in and out of there. Oops, I'll hop out of the way a little bit. It's probably not real clear. Okay. Hmm. 
Mm, they settled down a bit now since I left them alone. I'll put them back together. A few more with pollen there going in. the other one this was the one that was the swarm capture so it's a little bit of brood in this but not much they all seem pretty happy there at the front it's really good this cone they can defend it really well helps them to protect their hive also the tubes do well too which is my initial thing but I got these from Nicholas Powell awesome job Bees seem to like it, so that's always a bonus. Well, that's good, they're coming in with lots of pollen. Mm. So obviously feeding babies. So that's awesome. And of course, honeybees. They seem to be doing well. I was going to actually open them up and have a look, but I might leave it. We had a look last week. They're doing well. Um, probably will be going to my brother's next weekend with the honey extractor, because apparently his ideal super is full of honey under his flow hive. So we're going to extract all that to give the queen more room. And um, maybe in a week or so, we'll probably also put the flow hive on top of this depending on how these girls are going. So, seem pretty happy. A bit of fanning there at the front. Mm -hmm. Quite a bit of activity. I think they like this slightly bigger opening than what they had before so they can get in and out. So that's always a bonus for them. Thanks for watching. I'll catch up with you next time.